Hi everyone, I literally just finished organizing my St. Petersburg White Nights palette. If you know from the previous videos, I got um, seven new colors and I wanted to organize them into my what used to be a 24 palette that I customized into 39. Yes, I squeezed 39 full size palettes and um, uh, sorry, not palettes, pants, I mean, and um, the biggest one you can purchase is 36, so I actually managed to get three extras. How I done that is because I had um, a palette, the old palette from 2007, and um, basically the way they would come is just with a plastic insert, just in the middle, and I ripped it out and then I had a couple of, I think, two or three plastic bits stick out and then I just kind of tried to break them off with this um, tool. And um, yeah, so that's how I've done it. Um, you can't, I don't think you can do it in the new palettes because they come already with sectioned off um, things. But yeah, so I managed to get more in. So this is what the palette looks like. If you want to see what the original palette looked like um, and how I have done the... I don't remember if I actually had the original palette. I think I might have done a video of how it actually originally came and then I went through a process of eventually just um, changing and adding, co adding colours. So I think this part has gone through maybe three or four cycles of um, updating and this is what it is um, looking right now like. And um, so yeah, if you also want to know how I um, adhered the um, pants to the palette, um, you can also find it out in my video previous video. So I um, let's go ahead and just talk about this. So as you can see I have left two empty spaces and those two empty spaces are for let me just put this back. Um, they are for where is this? Cronacridon red and Cronacridon violet rose. So those two colours are the um, remaining two colors from the total of nine which were released this year 2017 so that's why I left the spaces so basically I have now gone ahead and taken out let me see yeah I have taken out all the opaques out which was cadmium yellow medium and cadmium orange and um, Naples yellow and English red I mean the two that are from the bottom line I will explain to you what I have done with the neutrals in a bit but um, from the colors it was uh, the um, three so cadmium yellow medium cadmium orange and cadmium red light there were three opaques so they have gone I have also taken out semi transparents um, so cadmium lemon was a semi-transparent and from the colors I only have two semi-transparents in the entire 39 colors which are so that is at the moment uh, two are missing so that's 37 and out of the 37 there are only two semi-transparents which are indigo and um, ultramarine the rest are all transparent so what i have done here this is how my palette looked before uh, what i've basically done i've gone and taken out the ones i just told you and then i've taken out everything after um, olive green so all these colors all the neutrals i decided to put them into my pocket palette which is the palette for 12 colors and I kind of feel um, colorblind when I look at this palette because to me it all looks like 
you know, <laughs> dirty colors, like muddy um, browns and all that. I just, in watercolor, uh, you know, not my thing really. Um, so the only color that I, I actually use quite frequently is this color here and it's Payne's Grey, which is swatched over here. So, yeah, so I will have it by hand and, um, um, yeah, just for that one color. <laughs> In case I don't get one of the um, pinks or something, I might squeeze it in then but that means I have to go through the process of emptying all of them which was a super fiddly and annoying process I got color all over my fingers my desk so there was a lot of cleaning up afterwards um, so yeah so that's that and I'm really happy the way it looks right now and let's see so quite quickly I put a picture did I maybe I actually was going to put a picture up on Instagram and I think I forgot. So I took this picture yesterday and I was kind of trying to decide how to organize my colors because you can imagine it was quite an intense um, process where I had to really concentrate to not um, somehow by mistake confuse the colors when I was organizing them and putting them back in and taking them out. So when it came to yellows this is how um, on Yevsky Palita website when you go there, this is how they suggest them and this is how it's on their um, pigment um, uh, list and I kind of feel slightly confused by it because to me lemon is the lightest colour and then you get sort of for some reason the darkest colour first then the lemon then Indian yellow then Indian gold goes after the two gold colors which are oranges and then you get two oranges so i feel that the indian gold breaks it up and really i just want to have the oranges together and to me this is how i prefer it um so lemon first and then hansi yellow being the warmer color and then indian yellow and indian gold next by um one another because they have a similar quality to them and then the oranges. So this is how I um, have arranged mine and there's I think here some colors this as you can see it's quite a um, complicated process I went through. So this row is what I had in my pocket palette originally or well, not originally but before um, I obviously changed this one as well on my holidays if you watched the videos um, and then quite clearly um, I decided to take some of those beautiful oranges, stick them into my main palette and then use this palette for these colors because quite a few of those colors were repetitions as you can see. Um, scarlet, Carmine, Emerald, Green, Green and Neutral Black or all of them were um, already in my uh, big palette here. So not to mention the neutrals which I have taken out of there. So here is what I've done in my neutral palette. I have Naples, Naples yellow. I have not put um, a yellow ochre. Then I have Rosy Yenna, Shachnazarska red, red ochre, burnt ochre, English red, burnt umber, Mars brown, umber sepia, and then Payne's grey is here and in neutral black finishes off the 12 colors and um, I will go through quickly what I have done over here well actually maybe you just if you want to see it you can pause it I guess just to see um, but what I would tell you is that um, cadmium orange is the opaque color that usually comes with the palette when you buy a palette um, and it's um, an opaque color and you have such a fantastic variety of oranges at St. Petersburg White Nights watercolors. They're just gorgeous, 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 transparent, beautiful, vibrant colors. So as an example, Golden Deep and Golden, Orange Lake and Titan Red. So I'd say these three are my top favorite um, kind of warm oranges. And then you get Vermilion, which is also great. It's kind of bordering on red, so it's like a reddish orange. It's also a great color to have. It's a hue. 
and like I said all of them are transparent so look at the beautiful variety um, of colors which are transparent um, the thing to say about the neutrals just quite quickly um, Naples yellow and English red are two colors that are completely opaque so non transparent and the rest are all semi transparent except for Mars brown so Mars brown is a transparent color but the rest are all semi transparent so yeah um, they have a fantastic range of pinks as well very gorgeous connected and rose is a beautiful color um, purples as well if you're into purples they have a wide range of blues they actually have a wide range of every um, spectrum of, of every color tone so greens as well it's sap green and olive green are probably my favorite two greens um, now olive green is a semi-transparent was it the yeah so it's um, semi-transparent and sap green is the new color that came out in 2017 and it's transparent so um, if I actually quickly grab so these highlighted in pink are the new seven colors that I have added and I'm just going to um, highlight those that are semi-transparent in my color I'm not going to do that here because they all are semi-transparent but uh, except for Mars Brown but here we have um, olive green indigo and what's the other one ultramarine ultramarine here yeah. so those are semi-transparent um yeah so that is it i hope you found this video useful i really love the way my palette is now organized it's super colorful when i look at these colors it just makes me happy and beautiful um, selection of colors one thing I have done as well is I have taken azure out actually because I think I had to squeeze hold on have I taken azure out I think I have I had to squeeze in some colors and I don't remember which one and basically I decided to take it out because the new blue color the video just cut out i'm not sure at which point but i was saying that i took azure out because um i had to squeeze a color in and the reason i've taken it out is because the new blue is cooler than azure um so this is the color that came out in 2007 it's warmer than azure and um so basically azure is in the middle of bright blue and blue so I decided to keep bright blue because it's quite a bit brighter than this blue and then I have the new blue which kind of, you know, I didn't need that many blues anyway as I have a wider range so they kind of have a bit of a similar kind of thing going there. So so that's what I've done and yeah. Um, if you if you want to see separate swatches of the new colors which are swatched out here so Indian yellow Indian gold Venetian red quinacridon violet ultramarine violet blue and sub green so these are the seven colors if you want to see how I played around with them and did the swatches you can do that in my previous video I hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching and see you soon